Hey guys, this is Saurav Nahar and in this video let's unbox Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Now this is the 2017 variant of the budget tab lineup from Samsung. Now this tab will come with 16GB of storage, 2GB of RAM and it will support SIM card so you can insert your SIM card and you can use your cellular data. It comes with 8 inch of display and we will talk about all the specifications later in this video in depth. So let's just quickly take a look at the pricing of the tab which is 19,300 rupees, the MRP, but you can get it for 17,999. I'll leave the link in the description box. It is available on Samsung's official online store, so you can purchase it from there. I'll leave the link in the description box. Or else you can go to the offline store and buy this tablet. Now, as soon as you open the box, on the top is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and I have the golden variant, so I will keep it aside for now because we will first take a look at the contents and then we will take a look at the tab. So first you get the SIM tray uh, removal tool which is over here and you also get some documentations which includes quick start guide in English and Hindi and you also get the SAR card because it does have a SIM tray slot. So the SAR rating here is 0.917 which is decent enough and you also get a warranty card. Now taking a look at the power adapter, it is a 5 volt 2 ampere power adapter so no fast charging but it is a pretty decent travel adapter. Now last but not the least you get a USB Type-C cable for charging as well as data syncing and yes this tablet comes with a Type-C port which is a nice thing in my opinion. So guys that's pretty much it from the box pack, let's keep it aside and let's take a look at the tablet. So I have the golden color variant of this tablet and it is wrapped in this thing. So let's remove it from this thing and let's have a look at it. So on the front is black color. I feel that white color would have looked good with the golden color but yeah that's how it is. Now let me give you my initial impressions on the tablet. So the rear panel is made out of metal which is a nice thing and you can see the sides are made out of plastic which is for network reception. But overall the build quality is good and the weight is not too much. It is around 8.9 mm thick which is decent. And on the right side is the volume control key and above that is the power button. Buttons are made out of plastic so metal buttons would have been great but then the quality of the buttons is good so no complaints over here. And uh, as you know the tablet is of around 8 inch and it is quite wide so you will have to use it with two hands which should not be a problem because it is a tablet. Now let me give you a quick physical overview of this Tab A. So on the front is a 8 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800. It is a WXGA display. And if it is having a Corning Gorilla Glass or not, I don't know, so I won't really comment on that. But below the display are two touch capacitive buttons and a physical home button. Now these two touch capacitive buttons are not backlit and there is no fingerprint sensor on this tab. On the top of the display is a earpiece, Samsung branding, some sensors and a front facing camera which is a 5 megapixel camera. So that should be good for taking video calls. Now moving on to the rear side of the device, it is made out of metal and I have already mentioned that it comes with 5000mAh capacity battery which is non-removable. There is a Samsung branding and if we talk about the rear camera, it is a 8 megapixel camera with f1.9 aperture and it also comes with a LED flash. Now cameras are not like the thing that you use on tablet, it is just for video calling and stuff. But if you want to know more about it, just stick around till the end, I will share some samples in this video. Now at the bottom is the USB Type-C port, a primary microphone for taking calls and there is also a speaker which is just a single speaker on the Tab A. On the top is a 3.5mm headphone jack and a secondary noise cancellation mic. Now on the left side is the SIM tray where you can insert a SIM card and a SD card so you can insert any 4G SIM card on this tablet and you can use the cellular data which is a nice thing and you can also insert a SD card up to 256 GB if you want to expand the storage. Taking a look at the software it comes with Bixby and it has got few applications from Samsung but no bloatware application which is a nice thing. So you just get kids mode and Samsung flu and some other Samsung applications whereas you also get some Google specific applications which is mandatory and you also get some Microsoft applications which is a nice thing if you want to do some work with this tablet. Now apart from that there is no bloatware and if you go into the settings and see the Android version it comes with Android 7.1.1 which is nice and it comes with August security patch so great job over here. Now the processor that they have used on this tablet is Snapdragon 425 which is not impressive I would say for the price but that's how it is. You get around 1 GB of RAM and 9.5 GB of internal storage out of that 16 GB. OnePlus was once a brand that I used to recommend to anyone who was looking to get flagship like experience for half the price. But now every year OnePlus is increasing the price and there is nothing new on the OnePlus 5 so will I recommend... 
So guys, the output from the speaker is loud, viewing angles are fine, the display is little reflective and the resolution is just 1280 by 800, which means that you can just watch 720p videos on YouTube. So if it would have been a 1080p display, that would have been great. But for just 720p display, it's a good display. I don't really have major complaints. If we talk about reading stuff on this display, then it's good. I don't really see any major issues over here as well. If the text size is this much, then no issues. But if you zoom in and if you take it very close to your eyes, then you might notice pixelation because of the resolution of the display. So guys, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and first look at the Tab A 2017. I will be back with the full review, so stay tuned for that. And here are some of the pictures that I've shot with the Tab A. If you're new to the channel, then definitely hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you don't miss out my review and more awesome videos on my channel, which is all about technologies, which is this channel. Make sure to follow me on all my social media networks. Links will be there. And do give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. That's it, guys. This is Saurabh Naha. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.